Number 44, letter A. How long can you rapidly climb stairs at a rate of 116 stairs per minute on the 93 kilocalories of energy in a 10 gram pat of butter? All right, so uh, we're asked for a time, right? And they're giving us an energy value and we are supposed to reference then the table on the right hand side. And um, we're gonna look up the uh, energy consumption in watts for climbing these stairs, all right? And here it is. So they also give us a watt value, right? So we're talking about time, right? We wanna find time. They're asking, uh, or excuse me, they're giving us, right, uh, energy, and here's power. So I'm thinking about how are they related? It looks like I'm gonna use this formula down here on the right-hand side, right? So for letter A, if I write that the power is equal to the change in energy, right, or the energy required to perform a certain task divided by the time it takes uh, to input that energy for that task, I can easily solve for time here, right? Just algebraically, just switch the P and the T. So T will then be equal to the change in energy divided by the power. So to find time, I need to know these two variables, right? And we do know them, right? The only problem here is that in terms of the energy at the top here, uh, we need it in terms of joules, but they gave it to us in kilocalories. So I just have to do a conversion. Let me do that over here. So 93.0 kilocalories. Remember that in one kilocalorie, C-A-L, there are 4,184 joules. It looks like a nine. That's a four. So 4,184 joules. So the kilocalories will cancel, right? <clears throat> and now let's just do that multiplication. So 93 times 4184. And we get a value, a value of about 3.89, 3.89 times 10 raised to the looks like five, right? And that is in terms of joules. So that is our energy value. Okay, so that we are going to plug in for the numerator here. And then the power, they basically told it to us, right, in the uh, uh, in the table, right? It says at the top here, energy consumption in watts. And to climb these stairs, we need a power output of 685 watts. So therefore, we now know the power. So we just plug it in. So it's not too bad, right? So time is equal to 3.89 times 10 to the 5. That's the energy. Um, and the power was 685 uh yeah, 85 watts. Great. So just simply do the division. Let's see what we get. 3.89 times 10 to the 5 um, divided by 685. So we got a value. It's a decimal, but I'm going to round up. So 568. And that will be in terms of seconds. Okay. All right. So this is how many seconds we can perform this... Uh, Stair climbing activity. All right, now uh, let's take a look at, so that's great, okay. So we can perform, we can do this for 568 seconds. Let's move on to letter B. So how many flights is this if each flight has 16 stairs? All right, so <clears throat> what we now need to do is we can do this in a couple of ways. It depends on how we uh, look at the problem. Um, I can choose it. I can choose a dimensional analysis technique in order to obtain my answer, all right? So uh, remember, they're asking us, they said, how many flights, okay, is this if each flight has 16 stairs? So what I can do here is I can say, well, I gotta set up my conversions, right, my dimensional analysis, so that when I multiply everything together, it gives me the unit of flights, all right? And all the other units will cancel, okay? So that's the goal. So. Let's first start with, um, remember, they give us a rate, right? We're climbing stairs at 116 stairs per minute. So why don't we, um, actually, should we start with that? It probably would actually be uh, would be better to start with, we could start with that, but I think just in terms of making sure everything lines up appropriately, it's probably better to start with uh, this particular ratio, right? The ratio that one flight, I'll call it F, Li. I was going to call it Ft, but that might be confused with foot. So one flight, actually FLT, let's do that, FLT. So one flight is equal to 16 stairs, okay? In other words, I can write this uh, ratio, or this equality as a ratio, I should say, whereas one flight per 16 stairs, or I can write it as the reverse, right? 
where I can write 16 stairs per one flight. Okay, either way, but one of the ways I'm going to use in my uh, dimensional analysis setup, I'm going to use this way. Right? Why do I use this way? Well, remember, the whole point of the dimensional analysis was to get flights in the numerator. So here I do have flight in the numerator, so let's start with that, and then everything else will literally fall into place. So notice how I kind of start with the answer and then work my way backwards, right? So one flight, FLT, over 16 stairs. Okay, so now remember, I just want to know flight, so that means somehow i got to figure out how to cancel the stairs, okay? Well, the only other value they gave us here that involves stairs is, I mean, they didn't put it in there, but it's, it's here in this unit at the top. That's 116 stairs per minute. Right? So if I use now that conversion, I can put my 116 stairs on the top per one minute on the bottom, right? because now the stairs will cancel. So this would tell me the number of flights per minute. Okay, that's great, but I don't want to know the number of flights. I want to just know the number, excuse me, I don't want to know the number of flights per minute. I want to just know the total number of flights. So what I have to do now is cancel out my minute. right? But remember, we were performing this activity for this many seconds, right? 568 seconds. So if I can take this value down here and convert it into minutes, then I can cancel the minutes, right? So let's do that. So just take this value down here and multiply it by, right, seconds would be on the bottom, minutes on the top, 60 seconds in a minute. So you're dividing, and that should make sense. All right, so five, 568 divided by 60. So we get about 9.47, right? So it's about 9.47, and that's in terms of minutes now. So this is the minute value. This is how long you are able to perform that activity based on the energy right, that was inherent in our pat of butter. So now I can plug that value in up here. So 9.47 minutes, and notice what happens to the minutes. They cancel. And what are we left with? We're left with the flights. And that's what we wanted, right? So let's plug that in now. So flights. Okay, and just calculate. So this is simply 116 times 9.47 divided by 16. It'll be about 68.7 or so, right? 68, so 68.7 flights. And that would be our final answer. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, please remember to subscribe. That would be awesome. It allows us to help more students. And I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.